If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me talk about how I deleted half of my video that I filmed that day and I was really angry about it. You guys really wanted to see this video. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me. I'm going to be doing my makeup while talking about new book releases that I'm excited to read and we're just going to be talking about books while doing our makeup together. I'm filming a quick intro because as I said, I deleted half of the footage. So I start off mid-sentence talking about Inked and Lies by Gianna Darling, which is a part of the Fallen Men series. That's where this video starts off instead of other books that I was talking about and ended up deleting. So love my life. Enjoy the video. Haven't read the Fallen Men series. You really need to. It is incredible. It is everything and more, especially if you're into like romances that involve like organized crime. Obviously, it's a motorcycle gang, so there's a lot to do in the book series about um, the actual MC club, drugs, guns, war, all that kind of stuff, which I really, really, really love. I'm excited for Inked in Lies because it's about Nova, and I forgot the other character's name, but Nova has been featured throughout all the other books. I knew he was going to get his own book because he stands out um, within the series. He's one of my favorite characters, even though he's like not a main character in the series. What I hope from Inked and Lies is that we get to see more of Zeus and Lou. Zeus is the MC president of the Fallen Man Motorcycle Club. He's a beautiful soul. He is definitely a guardian monster, hun. He definitely is. I haven't come across any other MC like romance book series that I enjoy like I enjoy hers. We're caking the face today because I'm filming another booktube video and I fucking feel like it, okay? I'm pretty sure majority of the books that I'm talking about today are going to come out next month. So you know Johanna is going to be doing some reading vlogs. You know she's going to be all up in it. She's going to be going fucking crazy. I have to concentrate for a minute because my makeup's not working. <laughs> Why is my concealer looking the way it's looking? I don't like it. I don't like it. I really hope to see more of Lou and Zeus. They're my favorite fucking characters and I want a second book from them so bad. Welcome to the Dark Side was my favorite book out of the whole series, 110%. Like it was done so fucking well. It's so taboo, so wrong, um, but so right at the same time. I don't know what to expect from this book. All I know is it's going to be steamy as fuck because it's Gianna Darling. And I know Nova's character already. And I know, I know he's going to be that type of character. You know what I mean? He's going to be a badass. He's going to be naughty. He's going to be everything and more. Okay, I'm going to do some cream contouring today. That's some breakouts on this cheek over here, which never fucking happens. Um, it's so fucking weird. But contouring literally highlights it, and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, can you not highlight the fact that I'm breaking out? Thank you so much. I used to use the technique baking all the time when I used to do my makeup, um, which is silly because I didn't need it at that time. But now I do, and it works. If you have issues with um, creasing, you need, like, absolutely need to bake. I'm just gonna get a really generous amount of powder on a sponge and stamp it under my eyes and let it sit there. I know I look crazy, but just stay with me. Oh, my next book that I'm super excited about is Fragile Longing from Cora Riley. Now, if you've watched my Mafia video or you've watched me just ever, you know that Cora Riley is my favorite Mafia romance author. Her series, The Born in Blood, Mafia Chronicles, and The Cora Chronicles is everything and more. Heaps of people have told me to read um, Sweet Temptation as well, which I already have. So that is a standalone, but the characters in that book you meet throughout both of the series. So you can read it as a standalone. I read it as a standalone and then I fell into the rest of the books. But Fragile Longing is about Sophia and fuck, I forgot the other guy's name. But you meet those two characters in the Kimura Chronicles in book book three, which is Twisted Pride. I've got to try and speed this up a little bit because I think my camera's going to die and that's not a vibe. So Fragile Longing will be a 
arranged marriage trope book, which I fucking love. I'm all about the arranged marriage life. Let me just tell you that right now. So about it. I know a lot of people that probably have arranged marriages nowadays in real life don't enjoy the fact that they have an arranged marriage, but in a romance book, it is a vibe and I refuse to say anything else about it. If you don't think it's a vibe, then me and you, we may not be friends. Just saying that now, okay? I just am craving Cora Riley. Like no one writes books like her, like her mafia romances are everything and more, honestly. If you have not read them, you need to. I, because I met the characters in Twisted Pride, I know, I know that this book is going to be like literally everything. It's going to be everything and fucking more and I cannot stress it enough. Like I really want there to, what I really want in this book is there to be a scene between Sophia and Serafina. So if you have not read the Cora Riley books, you need to because I'm about to spoil shit. But obviously the blurb or whatever you call it, syn synopsis or whatever you call it, has been released. And Sophie is pretty much paying for Serafina's portrayal. And her husband that she's going to marry is still in love with Serafina. And... Yeah, apparently he's not very good to Sophia. So I feel like it's going to be a vibe. And I really want there to be a like moment between Serafina and Sophia. I think that's her name, Sophia. I hope I'm right. I'm just bronzing the fuck out of myself because that's how I roll around here. It's gone real dark all of a sudden. <laughs> Don't know what's going on around here. Okay, so my last book that I'm going to talk about in this video is... You guys have been waiting for me to speak about this. <sighs> Execution by Lucia Franco. Okay, so Execution will be the fifth installment of the Off Balance series, which is a series between Rhea and Koba. Rhea is a Olympic gymnast. Oh, well, she's training to be in the Olympics. And she is 15 years old. And Koba is her Russian coach. Yes, bitch. Who is 32. And as the books progress, she obviously gets older as well. This is a very taboo book. Um, if you've read it, you know all about it, huh? It is everything. It is my favorite. Literally my favorite book. My favorite fucking book. And if you try and tell me that it's shit or you don't like it, like we cannot be friends. Koba started a fucking obsession with Russians for me. Like I'm now obsessed with Russians to the point where I'm like researching documentaries about fucking Russia. Okay. People may call me crazy. People may not call me crazy. Some may understand. Um, I'm so stoked for the fifth installment. My fourth book was left on a fucking cliffhanger. What do I expect from this book? What do you think I expect? There's going to be drama, especially the way it ended. Like, I don't want to give anything away. People are watching this and have never read the book. But the way the book ended, I could have literally jumped through the book, grabbed Lucia Franco, and fucking strangled her. Because, Han, how could you do that to me? When I finished reading that book, I literally messaged her on Instagram. And I was like, Han, when is the next book coming out? Like, I need it now. What do you mean? And she was like, soon. It's coming out soon. And it's fucking almost here. I reckon Rita's gonna die. I know, I know. I don't like the sound of it either. I don't reckon the Off Balance series is gonna end on a positive note. I feel like Lucy is gonna break her fucking hearts. Oh my god. If she dies, I'm gonna be a fucking mess. A fucking mess. And I just really want them to be, Koba and Rhea to be accepted. And I just don't see that happening. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of pain. And I, the reason why I feel like Rhea's gonna die is because when I was looking at Lucia's, um, when I was looking at Lucia Franco's Instagram story a few months ago, she was showing little snippets of herself crying, and she also said that, like, she asked, How do we feel about having the epilogue written in Cova's point of view? If it's written in Cova's point of view, that means Rhea's not around anymore. 
that's my conclusion. Um, so I'm preparing myself for that because it's highly possible. If you guys aren't prepared for that, prepare yourself. Because I'm very, very fucking confident with the fact that she most likely will die. I really want to like read the books again before the fifth installment comes out, but they're still too fucking fresh in my mind. So that's not going to happen. A lot of people tagged me in the cover reveal yesterday and said, can you please do a reading vlog when it gets fucking released? You guys don't know. You don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to be fucking making so much content based on those fucking books. Don't you worry about it, hun. Like, don't you fucking worry about it. I am here. I will do it. Okay, I'm just going to finish my makeup with some setting spray. This is from 4th Ray Beauty, which is a sister brand to Colourpop. And this is the Glistening Up Mist, which is my favourite right now. Okay, guys. My camera is going to die. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more like this, where I sit down and talk about books. And we just kind of chill and hang out and do our makeup together. Let me know in the comments below. Um, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you want to see next. If you have any book recommendations or anything like that. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.